Hey now, we had another good week and I can't wait to tell you all about it. Welcome to the Passive Profits Report on Traders Landing. My name is Corey and I love to discuss all things related to cryptocurrencies, trading and passive income. In this live stream, I am not only going to document many of the opportunities I am personally in, but I will also preview a couple of new platforms that I will be entering very soon. In addition, I will analyze the latest news affecting the crypto markets, examine Bitcoin price action, and in the end, I will answer all of your questions that come through the chat. But before we get started, understand that nothing in this video constitutes professional or financial advice, nor a representation or warranty of any kind. This video is for informational purposes only. The full disclaimer can be found in the video description. Given the uncertain policies on YouTube, it's crucial to be prepared with a contingency plan. That's why I'm urging everyone to join my Rumble channel, ensuring that this content will continue to remain accessible to anyone without any restrictions. There is a link in the video description. All of the opportunities I am about to cover can be found by going to traderslanding.net and navigating to the passive trading section. Once you click there, you can create a free community account. Now many of the, it's important to note that many of the opportunities I'm going to be covering will have a risk capital unit number assigned to it. If you are interested in gaining further insights into how I strategically place each opportunity within my risk capital portfolio, check out this article posted in our community regarding risk capital units. Okay, with all that said, let's get into it. So in just over 13 months, Alpha Copy Trading has gained over 189% at the lowest risk setting. And I see no reason why this will not continue moving forward. Last week, this trading team achieved another 1.71% in profit. So super impressive here. But before I get started, understand that this is not for some reason, my stream just went out for a second. Sorry about that. Okay, so understand that this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, and I encourage you to read the full disclaimer right here. So alpha copy trading comes in a few different flavors. We have the PAM on Lyrinix, we have the PAM on LQDFX, and we also have the copy trading on Lyrinix. Now, as you can see that from the copy trader, which gives you the ultimate control, the minimum is 10,000. But with a PAM, it's much more reasonable at a very a much significantly less $100 fee, which is really phenomenal. So just keep that in mind as you navigate the space and I'll go over the differences in a moment. But basically all of these are going to take the same trades. So the difference is, is that on the copier, you can increase your risk setting and on the PAMs, you are stuck at the lowest risk setting, which um, that this my FX book that we just showed you is um, at the lowest risk setting. And this is on actually a different broker, Adro, which is the first broker um, where I discovered alpha copy trading. So. Uh, alpha copy trading, there is a 30% performance fee on profits. And the way that works is, let's say in a month, let's say the month of March, that you profit $100, let's say. So at the end of the month on the settlement date, 30% um, or $30 for that example will be taken out and given to the alpha copy trading team. And the remaining 70% will stay in the account and you can do with that uh, what you wish. Um, all trades are disclosed. Um, so there's no funny business going on. You see all the trades as they happen. Uh, withdrawals are processed on the first and fifth, uh, between the first and fifth of the month. Um, the first batch of March was just processed and the rest should be uh, processed uh, tomorrow. Uh, there is a MyFX book for all these accounts for the MyFX book on Lyrinix, the MyFX book on LQDFX, and the MyFX book for the copier on Lyrinix. They are also involved in some other brokers, um, but I am not in those, um, so there are other MyFX books. So there are many brokers, but it's all the same trades. Now I am in this at 60 risk units, and that's based on the um, history that we have on this account, which is phenomenal. 
um, dating back from January of 2023. Uh, so we have over a year's history. Typically, if we have under a year history, I stay at 30 risk units, um, but right now I'm in at 60 risk units um, throughout the various platforms. So we do have within the community, we have the enrollment guides for the Lyrinx PAM, for the Lyrinx copier, and also for the LQDFX PAM account. Now with the copier, if you are more risk acceptant, then you can increase your risk. It's not recommend, they do not recommend it, and I certainly wouldn't recommend it, but if you um, want to increase your risk, you can use these copy ratios and these balance matrix to increase your risk. Now, by increasing your risk, you're obviously increasing your risk, but you're also increasing your profit potential. Uh, so that is up to you if you want to do that with the copier. Now, if you want to go, for instance, to high risk, then that balance, turns from 10,000 to 2,500 with a copy ratio of one, okay? So you can have a lower minimum entry um, by increasing your risk with the copier, or you can just use the PAM account at the lowest risk. So that's a, just an interesting tweak with alpha copy trading. Um, also, it's important to note that alpha copy trading has their own Telegram support channel. So if you have any questions about what's going on with alpha copy trading, in particular the trades or any particular questions, uh, for that team, they are available um, via Telegram. Um, they're very responsive and nothing um, but good things to say about their customer service thus far. Also, keep in mind that recently, um, as you've noticed, we have got rid of the individual platform updates um, in terms of newsletters, and we have gone over to um, post updates. So basically what that means is if you are an alpha copy trader, what you want to do is you want to go into the platform and you want to make sure that you are following the post. Okay. And then if there are any issues come up or anything, then I will post it as a comment down here. And since you're following this post, you will get an update in your email box. And if you have any questions about that and how to set that up, you just have to click on this link and you will see uh, how you go about following any post. And I highly recommend that you do it for any of these that you're in so you get the latest updates right into your email box, inbox. Or if you have the Circle app, um, you'll get a notification in your app. So however you wanna do it, but that is the better way to um, be updated and keep up to date on all of these platforms. It's just especially important with copiers because copiers, um, a lot of times if there's a change, the user has to intervene somehow. Uh, has to make a specific change to the copier, whereas a PAM account, um, that's all done by the trader. So just keep that in mind. If you are in any copier or any copy platform, um, you want to make sure that you are on that update list and you are getting the no notifications, okay? So that is the alpha copy trading. Um, there is a um, IB program with this, so depending on which one you're in. Um, the LQDFX PAM, the Lyrinx PAM, and the Lyrinx copy trader all have different IB structures, okay? So just keep that in mind. If you are a IB in any of these brokers, that is different. And if you want information about that, we have that in the community in our IB section. So we are here to support our IBs. So just take advantage of the resources that we provide um, in the community, such as non-branded onboarding guides, um, information regarding structure. And then if you have any questions, you can certainly post them in the community. We're all here to help, okay? So that is alpha copy trading. Um, continues to rock the market. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful um, equity curve, profit curve. Um, so super happy with alpha copy trading. And last week, again, we got um, about 1.71% on average between all of the different platforms that they are in. There's so many, I can't list each one in our profits report. So I just take an average of it and that, that's what we go by. Um, and that's alpha copy trading. Okay, next up, we have Artivan. So Artivan has been trading just over one year and is up over 100 and, sorry. Artivan has been trading for just over one year and is up over 622%. Last week, he got a gain of 2.09%. But keep in mind that Artivan exclusively uses Martingale bots. So that places this one in the high risk side of the high risk category, okay? But before we get into it, understand that this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Losses do happen in trading, especially with something as risky as Artivan. Just keep in mind, you don't wanna go in with more than you are willing to lose. 
So as I said before, Artivan has been on the broker for over a year. This has been trading and the, the gains are phenomenal. But if you will notice, there are two lines here. You will see this line is the profit line and this is the unrealized line. So this, if this line, this yellow line is under, that means that we're running a carrying a loss. And if it's over, that means we are carrying a profit. So in practical terms, what that means is if you got in from on, on February 8th up until now, you will have a profit on paper of 622%. But if you wanted to close those trades at this moment in time, then your this loss would become realized and your profit would actually be down here. So instead of a 622% gain, you would have a 425% gain. Okay, so just keep that in mind. That's how a drawdown works. A drawdown is just open trades in a loss. Okay, so as soon as you close those trades, those losses are realized. So understand that's what um, that, that's what I say that it's very risky with the Martingale approach because you are carrying this drawdown, all right, and the markets can move against. So just keep that in mind. So let's go over it. Um, Artivan is a copy trader on Lyrinix. The minimum to get in is one thousand dollars. The performance fee is only fifteen percent on profit. So if you were to profit in March, a thousand dollars, one hundred and fifty would go to Artivan. And the remaining uh, $850 would stay in the account to do with what you wish. Um, there are no junk fees with this, no management withdrawal, none of that crap. Um, you can enter and exit at any time being a copier. There's absolutely no restriction on it. All trades are disclosed in real time. Um, so this is completely duplicatable on any broker. And Artivan trades the major FX pairs. There is a MyFX book that I just showed you, and it's linked right in here. And I am in at 20 risk units. I should probably I should probably be increasing that because I am obviously risk free at this point, um, and I will make a note to increase my risk units. For Artivan, just because we have such a tremendous history on it, um, and I am actually in at more. I just have to figure out how many units I'm in at because it just compounds. Obviously, with a trading account, if you don't take out your funds after every win, then by function you are compounding your gains. So. Um, it does add up pretty fast, so you just have to keep an eye on your risk unit allocation um, in that case. Obviously, it's a great problem to have, but you don't want to overexpose, um, especially with a high-risk thing. So um, I'm probably going to take some of my units out of Artivan um, and put it into some other uh, things that are a little slightly less explosive um, just to mitigate um, my risk capital. Uh, mitigate losses, potential losses, and then increase my overall exposure to um, Artivan officially. Okay, And then if you are in a copier like Artivan, it's in, very important that you get the platform updates by following this particular post that's on the screen right here. Okay, And if you need to know how to do that, you click here to get those instructions on how to do that. It's very simple. You just have to flag it. And then anytime there's an update with Artivan, I will post it here and then you will be notified via the Circle app or email, however you like to be notified of any changes that happen. It's especially important with copiers because sometimes there's, there's issues that come up with copiers that the, the trader needs to do something or change a setting or get updated information out. And that's the best way to get it out is by putting it in this post. All right. So um, there is an IB program with Artivan. It's a four-tiered IB program like so many others that we have with this broker. So if you are interested in Artivan and you're interested in sharing um, this particular copy trader, um, you can make money on it um, by using the IB program at the broker. We have a non-branded enrollment guide right here. So all you have to do is just come to this page, throw your IB link right in there, and then go to File, Download, and then you can distribute it to whoever you like. And we'll talk about um, IB structure a little later in this stream. All right, so that is Artivan. Uh, I'm in at more than 20. I will update that after this live stream um, to give a more accurate reflection of my increased exposure to Artivan. Um, and this thing is just cranking, um, but be careful because it is a Mart Martingale strategy. Um, and like I said, if you were in at, if you were in from February 8th to today, um, and you closed out all your trades today, you would not have a 622% gain. It would come down here and it would be 425. 
All right, so just keep that in mind what this line represents. This is the drawdown line, and it does carry a drawdown for a significant amount of time. So just keep that in mind. Other than that, any questions that you have, just come into the community. All you got to do is just um, come in, go to platform discussion, and then you could post any questions that you have, or you could just DM me in the community, and I'm more than happy to help anybody. And obviously, so many people in our community are helping each other by, by posting directly and uh, getting answers and getting people's thoughts about it. And it's phenomenal that we have such a vibrant community and so many like-minded people helping each other out. I'm really appreciative to our community for that. All right, that being said, let's move on. And before we move on, I'm gonna take a sip of water. Okay. Let's see what we have next. Oh, yes. <clears throat> um, Blue Horseshoe is one of my favorite platforms, and this thing is up over 129% since March of 2023. And the second Blue Horseshoe account is up over 49% since last November. Um, remember, the first Blue Horseshoe got too big and is no longer accepting new participants. And then Blue Horseshoe 2 got too large, and that one is no longer accepting new participants. But we do have Blue Horseshoe 3, um, which made almost a half a percent today. Uh, that is open, and it's been trading for over a month now. Um, so that's phenomenal. And I will no longer be topping up in BH1 or BH2. I'm just going to be adding to Blue Horseshoe 3. And what this does by segregating these accounts, so, so each one, Blue Horseshoe 1, 2, and 3 are all the same trades. But what this allows the broker to do is distribute the equity from these large accounts between various liquidity providers. And what that does is it prevents slippage. So it allows the broker to get in and out of the market without with the price that they're intending to get in and out of the market market, and there will not be any slippage. Um, although recently we just saw some positive slippage with some interesting uh, copy trade accounts, but that's not for this live show. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk about that later. Uh, but before I get into it, before we go any further, understand this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Losses do happen in trading, even in trading. Even though we have a tremendous history on this, you do see that losses do happen, <clears throat> including catastrophic losses where you lose your entire stake. So just keep that in mind. So um, Blue Horseshoe is a PAM on Lyrinix. The minimum to get in is just $100. The performance fee is very reasonable at 30%, and that's only on profit. So, for example, if you profit 30, uh, if we profit $1,000 in March, come April 1st, um, 300 will be taken out and given to the trader, and then the remaining 700 will stay in your account to do with what as you please. There are no junk fees with this. And remember, with Lyrinix, they don't charge any deposit or withdrawal fees. Uh, so you are straight, good to go, no junk fees, which is phenomenal. You can enter and exit at any time. There's absolutely no restrictions with either one, two, or three. All trades are also disclosed in real time. So this, this trading is completely duplicatable on any broker in the world. He only trades one pair, the Euro USD, which has a daily trading volume of over $1 trillion. So he is a manual trader. Keep that in mind. A lot of people, they get into a... a PAM or a copy trader that's operated by a manual trader, there's generally less trading activity than there would be with a bot. A bot monitors the market 24-5, um, and a trader can't do that. A trader has to be in front of the chart. Also, uh, the more successful traders often trade, um, often take less amount of trades. Um, one of the biggest problems that make traders not profitable is over trading. That is not the case here. So many times um, someone will get in like, let's say today on a blue horseshoe, even though they were trading today and he made a half a point today, but, but sometimes he won't trade for days. We've seen him go a week without trading. If, if everything in the market has to be aligned with the position, his setup has to be aligned, everything has to be perfect before he gets into a trade. And that allows him to take the most highly, probab most highly probable trades as possible. And that's what experienced traders do. So you can get in today and not see trades for a few days. 
And you can ask, you know, is it, have there been trades? You could look at the MyFX book links. We have them all right here and see if there is any, been any trades. You can ask me or you can post in the community. Um, a lot of times it's just he hasn't traded yet and he's just waiting to get into the market. And then all of a sudden the fireworks go off and then the next thing you know, we're up a couple points. And that, that's basically how it works with Blue Horseshoe and a couple of the other um, accounts that are manually traded. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I'm in at 60 risk units, probably a little bit more than that. And remember, any questions about my cap, my risk capital unit structure, uh, we do have this article in the community that you are more than welcome to read and how I view risk capital. Um, we do, if you want to be updated on any um, anything that's going on with Blue Horseshoe, um, all you got to do is click um, on this post and follow it. And then any updates will be put in the comments of this post. Um, and this is in lieu of the... We used to have the individual newsletters um, that got a little too um, it got a little too uh, cumbersome, really, uh, to post and then send out a newsletter um, with all the, all these different segregated platforms that we're now in. So we're just going to keep it centralized. So that way, if anything happens, it's going to be listed right here, and it'll be memorialized so people can start to see the history of what things tend to happen with copy traders and PAM accounts. Issues can come up like a slippage issue or a copy trade or a copy trade issue or a lot size issue, whatever it is, and people could understand the true risks that are involved with these things. Um, we do have the onboarding guide right here, and this one we actually have an onboarding video as well. Now, as we all want to do on a Monday, let's look at a blue horseshoe trade. This is a trade that happened. Uh, and you got it in this trade on February 24th, okay? So the way that I like to examine a chart many times is top-down analysis. So on the bottom here, we have a 30-minute chart. So each one of these candlesticks represents 30 minutes in time. And what we can see here is a clear support area. So we see a, a first identified right here, and then we get another touch right here. So typically most traders, um, no matter what their level is, they understand that a third touch is a very key area in the market. And what do we do? We get a third touch right here into the zone. So at most times, the the experienced traders, uh, traders that do top-down analysis, which most successful traders do, will look for a setup on the higher time frame and then execute on the lower time frame. So when price approaches this level right here, the third touch of a clearly strong support level, in a consolidating market and we can see it it's just consolidating it's not going impulsively in any direction so that even makes this level stronger okay so what we go, what we like to do is go down on the lower time frame now um, he probably executed in a higher time frame than the one minute but this is a one minute chart and on the one minute chart uh, we can see as price approaches this zone right here and remember this area on the chart is just zoomed up to this area right here Okay, so, uh, so this area corresponds. And what do we see here? We see regular divergence right here. You know, we see the momentum oscillator getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And look at volume, slowing down, slower, slower, slower. So that means uh, there's a lot of indications here that it's time to go in the direction of, um, of the bulls because we are expecting a bounce off here and a, and a short reaction. And when the trader waits for price to start to make a move up, we get a higher high, and then he gets in right here. And then we can see that gets in right here on that orange, on that, excuse me, on that green triangle. And then we can see that he rides the trade out until right here. So this is actually a longer trade for him. Sometimes he gets in pretty fast, sometimes it takes a while. This one was um, 18 hours and 16 minutes. And he got 3.89% on this uh, small position of equity on this trade. Um, and we can see that it actually went up here and then it got in the drawdown. And then look what happened here, the reverse, right? So he was probably expecting this to get up to here, this level. But if you notice, the reverse happened. So remember we talked about three touches here. One, two, three. After the third touch, it gets weak. But look at this. We actually have... Uh, let me bring it right here. So we have on this level a third touch. So we have one, two, and then three. So he got out when it hit the third touch because after the third touch, you could expect a reaction down. Um, and then you kind of um, get into a, a probability of it starting to be more erratic. So he took his profit right there. 
and everybody made out on that trade. So it's a classical way of looking at it. It's not the it, it's very clear on the highest time frame. I probably shouldn't have done the lower time frame at one minute. That could have been more clear, probably at five minutes. Um, but you know, it, it's very it would be very similar. Um, so yeah, a really really nice trade right here. Um, and he continues to just kill the market. You know, really happy with this one. By the way, this software is TraderSync. If I know some people watching are actual traders or they're learning to trade, um, TraderSync is the best journaling software that there is. I've tried a lot of them. Um, it's phenomenal. So to keep that in mind. Also, if you are an IB, um, then you can share um, opportunities like Blue Horseshoe and make IB commissions. And I'll explain how IB commissions work towards the end of the stream. Um, but we do have non-branded onboarding guides right here. Um, so you just slap in your IB link and you're good to go. And this particular account has a four tiered IB lot rebate structure. Um, so it can be very lucrative if you decide to share this with others. Um, speaking of which, sharing with others, um, if you are watching, please share this content with people that understand what we're doing here. Um, or maybe you want to educate them and this video might help them um, to be educated in what we are doing in terms of the risk capital world uh, where it's easy come, easy go. But we take a very systemic approach to how we, how we operate in this space. And if you know like-minded individuals, share it. If you like what we're doing here, um, hit the like button. And then if you really like what we're doing here, head into our community and uh, say hello. We're, uh, we're always here to help. All right, so let's go to the next one. Uh, Bullhead. Okay, so Bullhead is up over 40% since last March, and hopefully the roller coaster has ended. And we see we see a very big roller coaster here. Boom, 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 then boom. Now we're going back up, right? So that I spoke to the trader about that, um, and I mentioned this a few weeks ago. Um, that I did speak to the trader and I expressed my concern about the erratic nature of this account. And he informed me of a change in strategy. So ideally, um, he's going to have this roller coaster come to an end. Um, and we'll see hopefully more consistent profits as we've been seeing recently. Um, I think the last few weeks have been an example of that where we've gotten um, some really nice profitable um, trades. Okay, so it just seems to be going up from there. Last week, he got 3.22% uh, in this uh, bullhead account. So he did really good last week. He's, he's, he's on a really good roll right now. And I think he's found his footing again after changing the strategy up. Um, but keep in mind that nothing that I'm about to tell you is financial advice. Um, the losses do happen in trading. This is only for risk capital. Um, we do have the full disclaimer in the video description and in all of the posts that we have in our community. All right, that being said, let's get into it. Bullhead is a PAM on Lyrinix. The minimum to get in is just $100. The performance fee is one of the lowest that we cover at only 15%. If there is no profit, there is no performance fee. So if you are in a loss, you actually make up those profits without any performance fee until you excuse me, hit what's called the watermark. When that watermark is hit, which is your break even level, and it's tracked by individual um, person that goes into the account, at that point, when you're in profit, um, that performance fee um, gets taken out, and that gets taken out on the first of the month. There are no junk fees with this. You can enter and exit at any time. All trades are disclosed in real time. Now, he, uh, with this new strategy, over 50% of the trades are gonna be USD CAD, which is a commodity pair. Um, so. It's kind of like trading the commodities, um, but it's not trading the commodities. It's trading it on the FX chart, which has a much better spread. Um, so it's kind of like a it's it's kind of like a trader trick um, to get exposure to commodities without paying those crazy spreads. So we do like that. Um, we do have the MyFX book um, connected to Bullhead, and it's available for an, anyone. I'm in at 25 risk units. I was in at more, um, you know, months ago. I reduced the, my exposure to it. Um, just because of the um, uh, the erratic nature that we saw during those, those few months. And now we seem to be back on track. If you want to be updated on this, whenever there is an update, you want to be following this particular post within the community. And if you want to know how to do that, you click here for instructions. We do have the onboarding guide. We have an onboarding video. Um, and it is all available in our community. Um, we do have, oh yeah, we do have a treat. We haven't done this in a while. 
So let's talk about uh, a trade, a bullhead trade. Now, this is a very interesting uh, trade. This is not a trade that I would take. Um, this is a, I'm a trend trader, uh, typically. Um, you know, you, you can always find a trend no matter what the time frame is, daily, four hour, one hour, 30 minute, five minute, 15 minute, one minute. Um, usually you can find a trend, uh, just have to change the time frames. Now this one, uh, he, he went, this is a long trade and there's no way I would go long here. As a trend trader, I would go short. But um, if you are familiar with SMC concepts, smart money concepts, it's a clear trade. It's just not, it's just not my style. Uh, so let's look at the four hour chart. So every one of these candles is four hours in time. So this is a higher time frame chart, generally speaking. Um, and we can see a low here. And once this low is made, the previous area, which is right here, is called a QM, quasi-modal level. And typically there's a reaction to this level. It, it, it's a, it's a, it does work. Um, there are traders that make a lot of money trading QM levels. Um, I, I, I know what it is. Uh, I don't trade it so much in FX, um, just not my style, but um, we could talk about it. I know enough to talk about it, <laughs> okay. So basically, this level is key. As soon as price breaks above above this level, let me show you, price breaks above this level, which it does here, this QM is activated, this orange box, and I'll make it brighter so you can see it. So this orange box is activated as soon as price goes above here. As soon as it goes above here, price is activated, which means that any smart money concept trader knows that when price comes back over here, that it's going to react up. Okay, that, that that's the that's what QM levels do. It does it more than seventy percent of the time. Um, an SMC trader will tell you if it's very clear, it happens very very often, and you can use um, higher time frame confirmations. You can uh, like this would be an engulf right here which would increase the confirmation probably to 85%. Um, but I don't wanna get into the weeds so much because I know a lot of you probably, I might lose you by really getting into it, but it's a very high probability price comes back here, it's going to react. And that's what happens. Uh, price, QM is activated, price moves back here, and um, and, it, and it reacts up. Now we can do a lower time frame um, entry, uh, which is very easy. Uh, to do a classical entry on it. I mean, you just you just see price coming down and you see the RSI, which is a momentum oscillator going up um, and it's just telling you to enter. Again, I wouldn't enter here. He's not entering based on divergences. I would suspect he's not. He's entering at this level based on uh, this QM level. And I mean, it reacted so hard. Look at it. It, it, went, it, it went down there and it went immediately back up and then it started to go down, 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 and it hit the QM again, and it reacted again. It just shows how powerful that QM was. So I would interpret that as saying that he used multiple confirmations <coughs> on the QM, identifying the supply zone in the lower time frame, and identifying the engulf on the higher time frame. Um, so it was a beautiful trade. Um, uh, it's very impressive. Um, I wish I had more time to study more QM concepts and do some demo trading on it. I just don't but maybe that will change um, maybe the second half of this year. I could get more into it. I've been doing it on, uh, on, on binary options um, and I think I can equate it to Forex. You just have the differences. You just have to be able to understand where to set your take profit and stop loss. That's the biggest difference. Um, if you are interested in Bullhead and sharing it, we do have, it does have a four tiered IB lot rebate structure. We do have the non-branded onboarding guides. If you are an IB, it's all in our community. And if you do like this software, this software is called TraderSync and there's a 15% discount for my community. If you are um, interested and in, if you are a trader and you're interested in logging your own trades, um, this is the best software that there is. Um, it's not even a, a debate. All right, and that is uh, bullhead. Let's take a sip of water. Okay. All right. Let's get to the next one. Let's close these. Okay. All right. Let's go to culture. Oh boy, this is a good one. Uh, okay. So the culture copy trader has surged 
by over 233% in the last three months, achieving an average daily gain of 1.5%. John oversees an automated trading system that identifies market entries and setups. So each opportunity is identified by an algo that he is running. Um, he combines this with his own expertise to set the profit taking and stop loss levels. Lately though, keep this in mind, lately he shifted his approach towards prioritizing equity protection over maximizing profits. According to John, this adjustment will lead to more moderate gains but significantly reduces the risk of catastrophic loss. He's implemented, uh, and he just did this last week, a 15% equity protector as a fail-safe measure to mitigate any potential downturn in the market. Last week, John got everyone another 2.79% of profit. So that is phenomenal. So let's go over the details. Um, Culture is a copy trader on Lyrinex. And the minimum to get in is $500. The performance fee is only 25%. So there are no junk fees with this. So the only part, uh, the only fee is the performance fee, which only is charged on profits. There is no profit. John makes no money from any of any fun copying, okay? So he's incentivized to make profits or else he doesn't get any fees. All trades are disclosed. Now with the broker, it's a 15 minute delay, but John is the only one if you notice here on my FX book, this, this is live updated. So he's paying extra to have a bot on his MT4 terminal update in real time to my FX book. So um, in actuality, um, the trades are disclosed in real time. And I should probably make that change. So um, culture trades disclosed in real time. I should probably update that because he does actually pay for that to happen. He's the only one that does. Um, you could enter and exit any time. Being that it's a copier, it doesn't matter. You have no restriction. You have complete control over it. In fact, you, if you want to increase the risk, you can increase the risk. You want to decrease the risk, you could decrease the risk. With a copy trader, you have full control. He only trades the gold CFD, XAU versus the US dollar. He just changed the equity protector from 21% to 15%, and he does have the My Live FX book. It's right here. And also, John is not only available in our community, he also has a Telegram channel. So if you have any questions about what is going on, you can get on his Telegram channel. John is an awesome guy. Um, I, I don't know him personally. I've been working with him for a while, trying to get this going and uh, trying to bring this to, into our community. And all along the way, uh, he's been nothing but a gentleman, and I really appreciate working with people that uh, that that are very nice to deal with, and also uh, him being profitable is the most important part. But obviously, uh, his personality is icing on the cake. Just a wonderful person. So, um, and he's available on the um, on his Telegram. I'm in at 30 risk units, and the reason why uh, 30, I generally don't go over 30 unless I have 12 months history or unless I'm at break even, or I could like take out um, like 50% of my profit to um, to redistribute, and then maybe I will increase because I've, I've hedged. Um, it just depends on how I'm playing any particular platform. But with something with crazy gains like this, if I was in, I was not in back here, but if I was, then I would be in at a lot more risk units. Um, and make sure, especially with copiers, that you are following this post. So for example, um, I posted here, this was 12 hours ago, uh, about how we changed the equity protector from 21% to 15%. Now, if you're following this post, then you would get a notification either in your Circle app or in your email, however you have that set up, um, to know that the equity protector changed. And if John is saying that we need to change the copier settings because X, Y, and Z, then I will post it here. And if you are following this post, um, you will get that notification. It's especially important with copiers to be on the notifications because there could be issues that happen with a copier that you need to do something to change. Whereas with a PAM account, that's not the issue because the trader has control of that account and can make those changes for everybody. So that is the difference between a copier and a PAM account. It's important. Um, You have more options with a copier, um, but that comes with more responsibility. For instance, in the onboarding guide, 
you want to go to the back and you want to make sure that you are copying all of this correctly. Because if you mess this up, like if you start uh, changing, uh, following from equity to a like fixed multiplier, that's going to make a big change in the in, in your results and it could cause an issue. And if you have any questions, that's why we, our community is here. We have our platform discussion. We also have DMs. So just use it. You know, we're here to help. You know, everyone in our community, we have a really good group of people. We're all here to help each other out. So just keep that in mind. And then, of course, um, what's really nice about this one is John has his own Telegram channel. So if you really need help, you could hear, get it from the horse's mouth, um, which is phenomenal and, and it's rare. So just take advantage of that if you need it. Um, there is an IB program with this one. Uh, remember, it's a it's just like most of the others that I cover. It's a four-tiered lot rebate structure. We do have the non-branded onboarding guides. So if you have anybody that would be interested in culture, then all you have to do is um, just take your IB uh, link, paste it right there, and then you could download it and give it out to whoever you like. Um, and that is all available in the community. All of these things are available in the community. And if you have any questions, guess where you go? To the community. Speaking of community, make sure you're liking and subscribing and sharing this content so we grow our community and we have more power collectively to get more of these opportunities into our community at even better uh, better terms, okay? So that is Culture, um, John's copy trader and it's just killing the market up 233% since the middle of December and last week he got a very, very healthy 2.79% for everybody. Uh, so we're really, really happy to see that. All right, and I think that's all I have for uh, for culture. So let's go next. All right. Okay, we got a good one here. Uh, Dynamic Yield is a recently launched PAM account that has already achieved impressive results generating over 15% in profit in less than a month. Now, we do have prior history. Our familiarity with this trader dates back to August of 2023, where they amassed a remarkable profit of over 180%, okay? And my FX book, so last week, everyone that was in this PAM got a profit of 4.8%. 7.4%, so a phenomenal, phenomenal week. And he's already up 0.37% today. Let's see if we get an update. Yeah, still going with a 3% drawdown today. So phenomenal. All right, but before I get into it, understand this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Um, a complete loss of funds is possible. Uh, trading, there are losses in trading. Just keep that in mind. So the dynamic algorithm employs a trading strategy characterized by high risk and high reward potential, dri driven by algorithmic trading. So these are bots that are trading. Um, so it's utilizing leverage, executing uh, positions based on volatility. And uh, the goal here is to have um, the max amount of profits while protecting the most amount of equity. Okay, so it's a balance. All right, so the details on this, it's a PAM account on Lyrinix. The minimum to get in is $1,000. So this might price a lot of people out. If you don't have that to lose, then you should not be in this. Performance fee is only 35%, very reasonable. And the way a performance fee works, it's only on profit. So if you profit $1,000 in March on April 1st, uh, $350 will come out of the account and go into the trader's IB account, and then you will keep the rest. All right, so you can, um, there are no junk fees. You can enter at any time. Withdrawals are manually approved, usually in 24 to 48 hours um, to protect open positions because this is a newer account. Um, all trades are disclosed in real time. There's no shenanigans going on. It's completely replicatable on any broker in the world. Uh, he trades the major FX pairs, or these bots, I should say, trade the major FX pairs. There's a MyFX book that I just showed you, and I'm in at 20 risk units. Um, I will probably be going up to 30 risk units. Uh, actually, I do have 30 risk units and I should make a note of that. Uh, dynamic 30 risk units. Um, and remember, you can follow this post to get any updates. Like when I update my risk units on this, I will go ahead and post that here. 
And if you are following this particular post in the platform space group right here, then you'll be notified via the app or email or however you have it set up to be notified. Um, so yeah, this thing, we have a tremendous amount of history. We have the actual data. So if you click on, um, on this, you can actually download, I'll do it for you. You could download the trading data that the trader provided and I was able to verify um, on his actual account. Um, and you can see it right here. I mean, you could see the whole thing. Um, so the open date, close date, buy, um, duration of the trade, gain, loss, you can go through the whole thing that you want. You could do whatever you want with it. it. Tells you the pair so you can see what he's trading, US CAD, you know, commodity crosses, you know, all, all, most of these are, are commodity pairs. Okay, so just keep that in mind. He's trading uh, mostly commodity pairs. Uh, I should probably make a note of that to add that. Uh, and uh, and yeah, you could see that since um, August of 23, we're up 180%. So it's just phenomenal, phenomenal um, account right now. Um, yeah, and I should be increasing my risk units in that. I just This one just launched on the broker. Um, so that way we can get in on February 6th. So we're up to almost a month of this operating on the broker. And uh, he's doing quite well. Um, just keep in mind that, you know, it does get drawdown. Um, it can get significant. Um, but that's to be expected. Expect that when you get into something like this. All right. There is an IB program for dynamic yield. Um, it is a three-tiered lot rebate structure. Um, so it's one, two, three, um, different from the, some others. And we do have the non-branded onboarding guide right here, and it's all available in our community. So if you have any questions about this new one, um, just post it. We have the platform discussion area where we could talk about it, or if you like, you can DM me directly. It's up to you. And that is Dynamic Algo. Um, we expect this thing, we expect this to eventually look like this. Of course, it's possible that it looks like this. So just keep that in mind. And that's why we only go in with risk capital. Okay. All right. That being said, let's get to elite. All right. Elite Trader has seen an impressive 83% increase since June, and it stands out as the most reliable passive income platform I've been a part of the past year. And I anticipate that this trend will continue. It's slow and steady gains, coupled with rare drawdowns. Okay, it's not crazy. I gained an additional 1.82% last week. So this thing is just cranking. But before we get into it, understand this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. I'm not your financial advisor. And losses do happen when trading. Even though this thing looks so pretty, it could go like this today. And whatever you put in could be gone. It does happen. It's trading. Things do happen. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Let's get into the details of this interesting opportunity. This is a PAM on Lyrinx. The minimum to get in is $500. The performance fee is 33% and performance fee is only on profits. If there is no profit, there is no fee. There are no junk fees associated with this. Trades are disclosed with a 15 minute delay on the broker's website. You can enter and exit at absolutely any time. No restrictions. Only trades the Euro versus the US dollar, which is the most heavily traded instrument in the world. And there is a MyFX book public, which you can find linked in our community. I'm in at 60 risk units. And if you want to learn about my risk unit allocations, then you want to read this article and how I view risk capital in the community. We have uh, the full enrollment guide right here, intro video, and make sure that if you want to be updated on this particular uh, platform that you are following this particular post under the platform section, Elite Trader. You want to make sure you're following this because any updates will be listed right here in the comments section. And then if you're following it, you'll get an update um, either in your Circle app or email or however you have it set up to get an update. All right. Um, now, as we all want to do, we love analyzing Elite Trader trades. So let's do it. Okay. This is a very interesting um, 
trade that he took. This trade this is a short on February 24th. Um, very nice. Now, this is a clear area of supply. And, and we are talking basic, basic information that when you, when you, when you look at an order book, it creates this kind of movement where it's like up, down, up, down. That's a big area of interest, okay? So you're gonna see a lot of reaction at that area. And predictably, we get a reaction in this whole area right here, consolidation, boom, 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 all from this, it's all created by this, okay? This area right here created all of this in 30 minute time frame. So naturally, price goes down and then it comes back up. And what's gonna happen the next time it hits this area? Well, there's a very good chance it's gonna react again and go down, okay? And that's what happens, it reacts again and go down. So everybody that's trading the Euro is looking at this area in the 30 minute chart and says, when price gets back up here, I'm shorting because it's this area is so reactive. So where am I gonna place my stop? I'll probably place my stop above this, this swing, I'll short and I'll make a quick, a quick buck. So we go on the lower time frame, and what do we see? This is so beautiful. We see three market structure moves up. Then we see divergence, regular bullish divergence in this zone right here. So this is like, this area is a zoomed in area. This is a one minute chart of this area on the 30 minute chart. We're looking at this particular area zoomed in on this chart. And we see this beautiful divergence, higher highs on price, lower lows on the indicator. And he got in early. He probably got in based on based on this level, expecting it to retrace, but it went up. Um, I would have gotten in on the break and the retest. So I would have gotten in right here on these candles, but whatever. And, and he gets out right here. He gets out right here. He lets it go past here. He doesn't let it go past here. You get look at this reaction, and then you could have gotten out from two positions, one here and one here, basically, uh, which is a beautiful, beautiful trade. Uh, he was in this trade for one hour, 37 minutes. Um, and it was a 2.81% profit on the equity exposed. So it's a really, really nice uh, trade. Um, use just uh, $12,000 in margin on that one um, for this one uh, smaller account. Um, so it's a phenomenal, phenomenal, um, clear, very clear trade. Uh, love this one. And by the way, this software is TraderSync. If you are interested in journaling your trades, this is the best journaling software. Uh, if you are interested in sharing Elite Trader, there is a four-tiered uh, lot rebate structure uh, with a broker, and we do have non-branded onboarding guides. Um, all available within the community. And if you need any help um, as an IB, you can certainly go in the community and ask for help. And remember, uh, if you're watching, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thank you. All right, next up, we have Escape the Matrix. Okay. Escape the Matrix is up 217% uh, according to the broker um, since uh, late April of last year. And this week he gained about 2.45%. Uh, uh, so very nice. Uh, Escape the matrix. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. You can lose your entire stake at any time. Uh, it is trading. Losses do happen. Uh, Escape the matrix is a PAM account on LQDFX. The minimum to get in is $100. Performance fee is crazy high at 50%. Um, there are no junk fees except for the deposit fee with LQDFX, which is ridiculous to me, but it is what it is, it's there. Um, withdrawals are only allowed when all positions are closed. So if there are open positions, you will not be allowed to withdraw. Just keep that in mind as well. Um, all trades are disclosed in real time, being some LQDFX, and he trades the major FX pairs. Um, my risk capital with this is fluctuating all over the place because the thing with LQDFX is they charge that stupid crypto withdrawal third-party processing fee. So. I have to either put it in some of these other things and, and there's some new PAMs I'm looking at LQD where I'm, I'm holding it back. So I kind of have to reassess where I am with this risk capital with, with Escape the Matrix. Um, but we'll be looking at that and uh, and taking a look at risk capital for Escape the Matrix update. I'll update that when I have a moment. Um, yeah, so Escape the Matrix, if you're in it, you wanna be following this post in the community to get the latest news, notes, and nuggets on everything related to this opportunity. 
Uh, and there is a IB program if you are interested in uh, sharing this one with others. Okay, so we have the Euro Bison and the Golden Bison, which um, had terrible weeks. Um, so these accounts experienced significant losses last week. Um, however, however, uh, the trader managed to prevent a catastrophic loss. Um, currently, the Euro Bison is showing a gain of 1.35% overall. After last week, it got a 35% loss. And the Golden Bison is down overall nearly 9%. And last week, that is following a 40% loss. So most of the gains, most of the losses were basically giving back profits. Okay. So essentially, the trader relinquished previous profits, but successfully preserved the entirety of the account. Um, this approach has led me to decrease uh, my risk capital exposure to both of these opportunities. And this is why <clears throat> you want to be, you want to be, um, following the post because I posted here that I'm going to be decreasing my risk capital from 30 to 15%. If you are following this post, then you will get a notification that that is what um, how I am playing this. So basically, a lot of people when this happens, they think the sky is falling. Um, if that is you, um, then maybe you put in too much uh, risk capital, um, which is uh, certainly possible. So the idea here is to diversify because losses do happen as is indicated here. I am not going to stop covering this. I'm not going to take out all of Myra's capital out of it. I'm reducing my exposure because I got in right in the beginning. So I'm basically um, at a small loss um, <coughs> because I did do some profit taking. So it, it's basically break even for me. However, uh, that might not be the case depending on when you got in. But I will continue to manage this because I am actually impressed, even though most people aren't, wouldn't be impressed, I'm impressed that he didn't actually blow the account, um, which does happen a lot of times. I know last week the markets went crazy and there were a lot of um, traders out there that I don't even cover, I don't touch, that blew their accounts. Um, I'm sure uh, many of you know one in particular um, who, who blew a gold account. Um, the other thing that I want to mention is that when the drawdown was happening, uh, it seemed like he wasn't honoring the um, the 90 10 ratio for the golden and euro bison. Um, so I will make a note to discuss that with him going forward. But typically, um, you know, these these are guidelines that they go by and they tell me that what they're going by. But when the poop hits the fan, sometimes they got to make choices to be exposed to instruments that are reacting more favorably and more beneficial to the overall account. So these are basically guides um, and they aren't, um, it's not like he's, this is manual trading. It's not like he's programming the bot to do 90-10. So I think that we saw more gold, no more Euro trading on the, on the gold one um, and vice versa, we can see that as well. Um, but I will address that with him at a later date. Right now, all positions are closed. Uh, he took the hit and he got out with preserving most of the account. So because he did that, um, I will continue to cover it, but at a reduced exposure. Okay, all right, let's get on the, let's get strapped in for this next one, <laughs> okay? Whew, man, this thing is crazy, all right. The market oracle is poised to become the most sought after copier in the industry, boasting a remarkable 97% gain in just two weeks of trading. However, it's crucial to note that explosive gains often come with the risk of equally explosive losses. Explosive gains usually equals explosive losses. Therefore, it's essential to plan accordingly. This thing could potentially double or even triple in value over the next two weeks, but there's also the potential that it goes to zero, okay? Just keep that in mind. This is not for the meek. But before we get into it, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This is not an investment vehicle. This is risk capital stuff. This is what I am doing. 
uh, this thing is feast or famine. So just keep that in mind. Understand the risks involved. This is not for everybody, okay? This is not for everybody. This is not for everybody. If you go into this and he, this thing loses the next day and you lose sleep, then by all means, don't do it. Please don't do it. If you're comfortable with this, if you can, if you want to be on this roller coaster with me, then then come on, let's go. But I'm telling you, fair warning, that this thing is crazy. All right. Let's get into it. Um, so, like I said, he's using SMC con uh, concepts. A lot of traders do um, to get into and out of the market. The problem with SMC traders is a lot of times um, they get finicky with the stops and with the TPs. Uh, because they're, they're basically market structure and liquidity zone traders. So um, a lot of times liquidity zones can fail and, and, and they don't, sell, they don't sell, set a stop. What they do is they target the next liquidity zone and then that's all subjective. But let's not even talk about that right now. All right, this is a copy trader, um, Lyrinix. Um, the minimum to get in is on the higher side. It's $3,300 to, to run this copier. Performance fee is also on the high side. It is 50%. Performance fee is taken weekly. So the way this is gonna work is if you profit $1,000 this week, at the end of the week, uh, when the market closes, um, half of that thousand, 500 will be taken out and given to the trader. And the remaining capital will stay into your uh, copy trade account. All trades are disclosed. Um, actually, I'm not sure if he discloses them in real time. No, he doesn't. He does not. This is wrong. The trades are not disclosed in real time. They're disclosed after the trades are um, are closed, and it's not on live MyFX book. I have to change that. Excuse me. Guys, I'll change uh, real time. Okay, I'll change that after the stream. Um, there are no junk fees with this. You could enter and exit any time. It's a copier. Um, he trades everything. I mean, everything. So, you know, he's, he's looking at every opportunity in the market. It could be CFDs, FX, crypto, whatever instruments are available on the broker, he could potentially get into it. I'm in at 30 units. Uh, I have to be in at such a high uh, number because the minimum is so high. Um, typically, something like this, I'd like to get in with 10. Um, but, you know, the minimum doesn't really allow me to do that. So I'm in at 30 and maybe I will be break even this week. So we will see, right? Uh, we do have the enrollment guide. It's very important that with a copier, you are following the enrollment guide to the letter. Um, and the most important part is this section right here. Uh, make sure you're following it. If you have any questions whatsoever, that's why we have the community. That's why we have a platform discussion space. That's why we have DMs. That's why we have all of these resources so our community members can help our community members. Now, with a copier, it's very important you're following this post under the platform section because if there are any changes, the trader will reach out to me. I will post here. And then since you're following this post, you will get a notification, however you have it set up in Circle, either through email or through the app or both or the desktop app, whatever it is, you will get a notification. So it's especially important with copiers. There is an IB program with this. So if you have friends that are interested in a roller coaster, <laughs> then we do have the non-branded onboarding guides right here. Uh, you click here, you paste your link right there, and it gives all of the information on how to uh, get into the market oracle. Uh, so yeah, this thing is crazy. I mean, it's, listen, it's a 96% in, in in two weeks with a 16% drawdown. This drawdown, the daily a daily return of 6.35%. It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable over the long term, 6.35 with a 16% drawdown. This is not gonna be doing this all year. Um, so you basically, you yeah, have to ride a wave. I mean, the profit factor is probably crazy, right? Yeah, 23, a 23 profit factor, 20, it's, re, it's absurd. A profit factor, anything over one is profitable. An experienced trader trading for a year, profit factor between one and two. Profit factor of 23, okay? It's not sustainable. <coughs> however, however, 
It's not to say you can't make a killing before before it craps the bed. Um, that's the idea here. So if this thing craps out this week um, and, and you feel bad, that's on you. Um, if this thing craps out this week, I will not be feeling bad. I will understand the risks involved. Um, and that is important, okay? So yeah, 96% uh, in two weeks, 6.35% a week. It's up uh, crazy with only a 16% drawdown. And this was updated three hours ago. I will see if we could get a fresh one. Uh, refresh this Brave browser. Yeah, still one hour update. Yeah, he's up 8.29% today. I mean, eight points today. So with the 50% uh, break, you know, you're up, you're up 4%, over 4% today. And it's a copy trader. You can get in and get out, get in and get out. If you think that news is happening that day, maybe you want to get out. I don't know. Bitcoin halving is coming up. Maybe you want to get out. Um, no news, maybe you want to go heavy. I don't know. I mean, there's different, all kinds of ways you could play it. Uh, but yeah, that, this that's what it is. It's a high risk market oracle. Uh, you know, if you got if you if this minimum is comfortable for you, then maybe uh, this could be for you. If not, then we have other uh, opportunities, or maybe nothing at all. Maybe just maybe this whole thing isn't for you. I uh, just keep that in mind. All right, well, let's move on. Okay. All right. So the perfect Pam is perhaps the one passive trading account I'm in with the least amount of risk. And I base that not as a financial advisor, rather solely on the extensive history we have where the drawdown has never got to the double digits. This thing is up over 70% since November of 2022. And last week, this, this team took a small loss of about half a point. Okay, but the key isn't this. It's not the 70%. It's not. The key is the drawdown. Since November 2022, the drawdown has never been more than 7%, and it's kind of misleading. The 7% was in the beginning when the account was in the testing phase. After that, it's never been like 4.5%, although the trading team's design is that it will never go above 10%. Uh, but it's never gotten close. Um, and we can see on the live account, the live PAM account, um, it's at 2.9% since December 17th. And today it took a small loss. And that's fine. This thing is going to go up, it's going to go down, up, down, but it's, it's going to be slow and steady. This thing is all about equity protection. That's why I love it so much. But before we get into it, <coughs> understand that this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Um, this is all risk capital. Um, these things, even though you know we have tremendous history and this is definitely the least drawdown that I've ever seen for this kind of length of time for any of these. Um, losses do happen in trading. It's possible to lose the entire thing. I mean, who knows what can happen? A solar flare. I mean, anything can happen. Just keep that in mind. Now, uh, this thing comes in two flavors. We have the Perfect Pam and we have the Perfect Pam Enhanced, okay? Now, the Enhanced one is has the potential for a higher profit, but also for a higher loss. Now. Um, the max drawdown on the perfect PAM is designed to be no more than 10%. On the enhance, it's designed to be no more than 14%. A lot of times, um, a trader will have a successful account and they'll have an enhanced or a high risk version. And all they're doing is adding uh, a lot multiplier. So they're taking the same trades and just, uh, and just increasing the lot size. Um, and that usually ends in destruction. That is not what's happening here. The enhanced version is actually taking more trades. Okay, so it's not exactly the same trades. Um, there could be similar trades. There could be trades that overlap, but the perfect Pam enhance is going to take additional trades. All right, and that is a lot safer, in my experience, than um, someone simply taking a successful trading system and just um, taking the risk management and throwing it out the window which is essentially what you're doing when you're blindly increasing lot sizes without taking into account TP and SL levels. Additionally, the perfect PAM, they have, uh, their, their algos are second to none um, that I've ever seen. Um, they are institutional grade algos um, from, from what I've been told and from my experience. And their quants are unbelievable. They, they go over everything, what their strategies are, 
Uh, they go over what their algos are. They're always updating it, and including a news. I know a lot of people are very um, adamant about not trading during news events, and they are on the lookout for news events. Look at their trading factors, their risk factors. It's all programmed in. Um, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal trading team. And last week, um, when the markets went crazy and so many PAM accounts took huge hits, um, they took a half a point loss, okay? They took a half a point loss, which is what we wanna see. Um, the, the losses are controlled and the gains are steady. That's what I love about this one so much, um, the perfect PAM. This one I know is gonna be in the community for a very, very long time. Um, I love covering this one. It comes in two flavors. We have the Perfect Pam, which is the basic one. And then we have the enhanced version, which is the more aggressive one that has additional trades. Um, they're both, uh, so the Perfect Pam um, increased, the minimum increased, as I said, on March 1st, it increased to $1,000. Performance fee is 35%. Uh, there are no junk fees. All trades are disclosed with a one hour delay. Um, you can enter at any time. Withdrawals are manually approved, usually between one to two days. Uh, this trades the major FX pairs. We have the historical MyFX book, if you want to look at that. The current MyFX book, the presentation deck I just showed you is also available. All of these links are in the community. Uh, for my money, this is the safest one I'm in. So I'm in at 60 risk units, probably going to be increasing that soon. Um, and then especially after I see how they handled that crazy week last week, super impressed. You want to get platform updates, be subscribed to this post under platform section in the community. And anytime I send an update here, um, you'll be notified. Okay, and then we go to Perfect Pam Enhanced, and um, which is right here. Same thing, $1,000 minimum entry, 35% on profits, no junk fees, um, all the same terms. And there is a different MyFX book for this one. I'm in at 50 risk units on the enhanced one. Um, soon to be 60 risk units um, once I do my risk capital reallocation for this month. Uh, and this thing is phenomenal. Both of these have an IB program. Um, they're both the same. It's a four-tiered lot rebate program. If you are interested in sharing this, we have the non-branded onboarding guide. All you gotta do is take your referral link, paste it right in there, and then you can just download this and you can share it with whoever you like. And then if you have any questions about that, we are all here to help in our platform discussion section, or you can DM me right there. Um, so this is a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, opportunity with a great trading team. Uh, I am super impressed by this trading team. Uh, they just kill it all the time. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And uh, so that is perfect pan. All right, next up we have Quantum. All right, so this thing is interesting. Uh, the quantum FX bot is up 15% um, in the last few months of trading and gained 0.4% last week. So the thing with this is it has a really large drawdown as compared to the profit. So we're, we're seeing a 20% max drawdown with a 15% profit so far. Um, but if we look at the demo account that's been running since April 10th, we see that this is kind of to be expected, right? So that's why I'm in this because I, I, we have so much information. But before I get any more into it, just remember this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. There are losses in trading uh, that that this thing could crap out at any time. Just understand it does happen. All right, so uh, this is basically a quant trading system. That's all it is, it's just a bot that's running the market. We have all this extensive history and then we have this history here. Now until, until this, the real account starts looking like this where people could see this this is not going to grow this this account's not going to grow like that much i mean it's slowly slowly growing um, as people get comfortable with it so we'll just continue to monitor it and watch it uh particulars this is a pam on lqd there is a minimum to get in of 100 dollars. the performance fee is only 30 percent there's no junk fees withdrawals are once a month sometimes less they only withdraw when all the positions are closed so you can be in this for some time which is another drawback about this one. All trades are disclosed in real time. These are the instruments that he trades. We do have the MyFX book of the demo that I showed you, and also on the uh, real account, which I showed you. Um, Telegram support we have right here. 
Um, they have, uh, the best part about this one is a support. Uh, support is phenomenal. Uh, really nice people running this one. I'm in at 30 risk units, um, just because of the volatility nature of this particular account. Um, and then if you wanna be updated on this, make sure that you are following this post in our community. We do have the onboarding, onboarding guide right here. We have an onboarding video and the intro video right here. And if you are interested in uh, getting updates on this, please make sure you are following this post in our community because I will be posting updates right here. All right, let's take a sip of water. Okay, next up we have Samurai. Oh, and there is an IB program for quantum. Let's keep that in mind. You know, I just want to blow my nose for a second. Hold on. All right, I muted my microphone to, to spare you the sound effect. <laughs> you can thank me later. All righty then. Okay, so the Samurai has been running on Lyrinix as a copier since March of 2023 with a gain of over 177% on the master trading account. Now this trading team has brought this suite of bots to the Western world. That's an Asian based trading team. And they brought it to the Western world as a PAM account with significant performance fee discount and a much lower minimum entry. This week, the Samurai Pam got an additional 1.15% in profit. And I am very excited to announce that the Samurai team has launched a new copy trader called the Samurai EG. Okay. And this thing is up 170% since July 18th. And last week got a uh, gain, a total gain of 2.62%. So we have the PAM and the copier, which is phenomenal. But before we get into it, understand this is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. Uh, losses do happen in trading. You can lose your entire stake. It does happen. Okay, so let's get into it. We have the we have the two samurais. We have the PAM and the copy trader. Um, so the PAM account uh, is on Lyrinix. The minimum to get in is 750. The performance fee is just 25%. Where your performance fee works, it's only on profit. So if there is no profit, there is no performance fee. Um, and the, there are no junk fees with this. Entries are manually approved. So it can take uh, 24 to 48 hours to get in once you once you submit your request. And then withdrawals are also manually approved. Same thing, about one to two days. And that is because there are, even though these are bots, the team has to manually configure these bots. Um, so they do that manually, they don't leave it to chance. And that's why they are very careful about uh, capital entering and exiting the um, the PAM account. The copier doesn't matter. Uh, all trades are disclosed with a 15 minute delay. Uh, trades the major FX pairs. We do have the historical and the current MyFX books um, for this. So you can look at what's going on with it. Um, I'm in at 50 risk units. And if you want to um, information about this, you want to be updated on it, you will make sure you want to follow this particular post. We do have enrollment guides and an intro video for this. Now, the um, EG Samurai, which stands for um, Euro and GBP, British Pound Sterling, is a different one. It's a copier. Okay, so the copier is on Lyrinix. The minimum is 1,000. The performance fee is 30% on profits. Um, there are no um, junk fees. You can enter and exit at any time because it's a copier as opposed to the PAM account. Um, all trades are disclosed and he only trades cable and the euro, okay? And the MyFX book that I showed you is right here. I'm in at 50 risk units. And it's very important with a copier that you are um, getting the updates. So you wanna be subscribed to this particular post. So if uh, the Samurai team needs to get information out, I'm gonna post it right here. And then because you're copying this, you're going to get a notification that I posted something and it will tell you whatever the issue is or change or notification or whatever the information is, um, you'll get alerted to it. And with a copier, it's especially important that you are following this guide. Uh, with a PAM account, it's it's you can't really mess it up. With a copier, you can mess this up. So make sure you're following um, these directions in particularly uh, or else you could be up for a disaster. Okay. Even though you'll say, you know, 
a guy gained two two and a half points last week and I just lost 50%. Why? Because your copier settings are wrong. It does happen. Okay. Um, there's also, um, now we talked about a new copier that they were, or a new platform they were, um, a high risk one. I was, I was teasing that one. It was for the gold um, PAM account. Uh, they were testing it. And remember what I told you last week, how all of these accounts um, went crazy and a lot of them busted out? Well, that test account busted out, okay? So they are going to reconfigure it and retest it. Um, but yeah, tra you know, failures do happen in trading. So many accounts got wiped out last week. Um, that high-risk gold account that the Samurai team was running that was in test mode um, got wiped out. So if you were asking about that, um, that's what happened to it. Um, they're going to be, which is great that they didn't they didn't get it out there. No one was involved in it. It was just testing. It was a responsible thing for them to do. But the really nice part about that is is now they're going to design it to withstand what just happened last week, because uh, now they have that data. Now they could go back and, and make it even better. So um, that's going to be testing for a few months. So right now with the Samurai team, we got the EG, which is the copier, um, get in and out of any time, Euro, British pound, sterling, and then we have the regular Samurai which is, um, so we have the EG Samurai, and we have the regular Samurai, and this is the current PAM account, and then this is the historical data on that PAM account. These are the actual trades that were based in the Asian uh, market. So this team was uh, only based in Asia with Asian clientele, and uh, we got together, and we've been talking for a long time, and we finally got it released to the westernized world as uh, this PAM account to start with, and now they have authorized uh, me to talk about their copier, uh, and they have opened that up to the Western world as well, now that they're comfortable with it. So uh, just phenomenal. Um, and if you want to be updated on this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, make sure you're in the community, and uh, if you're really nice, you'll click that thumbs up. All right. And uh, lastly, before we uh, switch topics here, let's talk about Ajmel. Um so this was brought to us by Tommy. Now this thing, um, this thing almost blew up last week. And if you weren't copying at the right settings, it did blow up. Uh, but there was a drawdown, and then a, a big drawdown, and then a small loss, and then he recovered it. Um, but if you weren't copying at the right settings, um, then you blew up the account. And I know people that did. Now, uh, what are the right settings? I'm still waiting to get the right settings. Um, after this happened, they they were like. I thought that the account might blow. I didn't know what was happening, so I kind of took the pressure off of getting the matrix, but this is going to be copied by fixed multiplier, and we've ne I've never copied with fixed multiplier before. I'm sorry, fixed lot sizes. I never copied with fixed lot sizes before. So I gotta get the matrix from the, from the trader, and it's going to change every time there is, uh, equ every time there's equity added to the account or taken away, you gotta actually change the copier setting. So it's going to be a heavy lift um, to explain this, and I think a lot of people are going to mess it up um, <coughs> if I don't explain it right. So I'm working with the trader, and the problem is the trader doesn't speak conversational English. So it's like pulling teeth. I got to get a translator to to explain something to me that I've never done before, and I understand the math behind it, but I also need to understand the history behind it, and I have to ask some questions about it. So it's taking a lot longer than anticipated. Um, but I'm still working on it. I still have it in mind. Um, I also have probably about three or four others, uh, copiers and PAMs that look phenomenal. And I didn't even get a chance. I wanted to preview them here. And I didn't even get a chance to uh, set it up. But um, you might look out for it in the community this week. Uh, we might be launching some new ones. So make sure you're in the community. You're hanging out. Uh, asking questions, and uh, we're going to get some more information out to everybody for sure. Okay, let me just uh, take a sip of water. And uh, chapstick. And let's finish this strong. All right, IB Comp. Um, so a lot of times I was talking to you about um, introducing broker commissions, and that's basically how we make money actively by sharing our links with brokers. Uh, many, many, many brokers have IB commission structure. 
And basically, it's ba basically you share your, your affiliate link and you make money with your sphere of influence. Now, my sphere of influence is different than yours because I'm on YouTube and I have a community. Maybe you are on YouTube. And you have, I know a lot of YouTubers watch this. Um, so yeah, that's how you make money with IB um, by sharing your links. Now, commissions are based on trading activity, generally spreads. Um, on ECN accounts, it's on commissions. Enrollments vary from broker to broker. Right now, we're on with uh, two different brokers, and uh, it, it drastically varies between the two. And we are vetting a third broker right now, um, which is news to people, I'm sure. Uh, but we will be looking at a third broker soon. Um, one nice thing that IB commissions do is it lowers your um, exposure. <laughs> to any of these platforms. So by using active income, by sharing your links to then put into these programs, into these platforms, you're basically getting in uh, for free. It's completely scalable. Forex market trades over $6 trillion a day. Um, each opportunity can have different compensation plans. So that's why we have the community where it's all laid out. And then we have all the non-branded onboarding materials within our community. It's no longer on the website where anyone could just stumble upon these things. Um, you kind of have to know what you're doing, uh, really need it. Uh, and then you could join the community and you can get this data and uh, share it with your people. It's very important to maintain contact with your IB downline, however you choose to do that. Uh, obviously, I have my own ways and the income can be very significant. So just keep that in mind as you traverse the space. Now. The way that a spread works is you have the bid or what somebody is willing to buy an asset at and you have um, the ask or what somebody is willing to sell something at. And then in between the buy and the ask, there's always a difference in the numbers. All right, so the bid is always going to be less than the ask. So this spread, the numbers in between, Every time a trade is made, this is what the broker makes. They're making everything on this spread, okay? And as an IB, you make a portion of this spread. So when the spread is done, one portion goes to the IB and the next goes to the broker, okay? And that's how uh, IB commissions work. It's based on the actual trading. The more trading that there is that happens on this order book, the more IB commissions are generated, all right? So it's not like, uh, the person deposits a million dollars into a broker and there's no trading, you don't make anything. Person deposits a hundred dollars into a broker and the trading is crazy that day, then you can make a lot. It just depends on how much trading there is. And it doesn't matter if it's profitable or losses, it's just trading. Same as the broker. House makes money no matter if the trader wins or loses. Um, it's all based on trading activity. It's not based on any outcome. It's just based on trading. All right. Um, Responsibilities of an IB. Over explain the risks involved. Please, please, please over explain the risks involved. It's very risky. At every opportunity, make sure you're explaining that. Make sure your people understand losses do happen. There is no such thing as a holy grail in trading. Losses do happen. And sometimes a complete loss happens. It does happen. Stay in contact with your people and be responsible. Be responsible in how you present this. Okay. All right, next up. Am I overexposed? Okay. Be careful not to overexpose your capital to any one platform. Any of these can blow up at any time. So you want to diversify, take profits, and play the long game. These are all extremely risky. And generally speaking, explosive profits equals explosive losses. So just keep that in mind. And then, as a reminder, <clears throat> it seems it seems a little more late, a little more. Uh, last week we had um, instances, I guess, because the markets went so crazy, where people are asking me questions, and a lot of you are getting used to sending me screenshots, and it helps so much. But everything that you do, be, make sure you're taking screenshots, any transaction that you do, deposits, withdrawals, enrollments, unenrollments, um, just save them in a folder, uh, because if something happens, you can just get them. And then we, it's so much easier uh, for anybody to help you if we have a screenshot and we see what you're talking about. So just keep that in mind. Um, community question. This is a question from this week. Uh, this was a great question, actually. What are the qualifications to open a PAM or copy trading account? So a lot of times, like if you're invested in like a mutual fund, right? 
um, like at, a, at your bank, at a, like a big bank or whatever. Like the person running that fund, presumably the bank vetted them. So they're, um, they've been trading for X number of years. They got all kinds of degrees. They got a team under them. They have a whole IT department ready to go. Like all of these things are in consideration. Risk management plan has been approved by a board. There's like all kinds of considerations that go into like a hedge fund. Whereas a copy trade or a PAM account, it's some guy, he could be in his mom's basement in his underwear, picking his butt, opens up a PAM account because a lot of times, um, like with LQD, I think you need five grand to open up a PAM and with uh, Lyrinix, I don't think you need much at all, but less than that. So, um, so the bar is very low. So that's why you see a lot of these things blow up all the time, okay? And that's why, um, you know, things happen. Like we've had, remember Theta Trader, the guy, he forgot to shut the bot off on NFP day and he lost, you know, a million dollars. Happens. These aren't institutions. These are retail traders. You don't know who these people are. So that's why these things are super, super risky. It adds more risk. So this was a great question. I'm glad that it was asked. Okay. Um, and then finally, we have um, in our community, we have our passive trading knowledge base. So if you go in our community to general information, you will find all kinds of helpful articles. So what I do is whenever I get like a good question that comes up, like uh, like that question, I should probably write an article about it. Um, like what are the qualifications or um, DeFi tips or balance versus equity or how I deposit and withdraw on platforms, risk management, how I view it or set up your first hardware wallet. It goes on and on, uh, account operations with LQD, um, you know, Dodd-Frank regs, everything. Um, whenever I get a good question and I have time, I'll write an article on it, I'll post it here. This is our general information section, so be sure to check that out. And, uh, and then the last part for this section is uh, the community questions and quizzes. Um, so we went over this previously in the IB portion of what is the significance of the bid ask spread in the market. And so many got right, I'm so proud of you guys. 85% difference between buying and selling prices. That's phenomenal. Uh, so happy that, that so many people got that right. Uh, so yeah, that's, I'm really happy about that, <laughs> okay. All right, so let's go to news. I should have a sound effect for news, right? All right, so Lots of interesting things. First thing I want to talk about is um, is Bitcoin is starting to get um, mainstream press now that the and we're going to go over Bitcoin price in a second. So now that uh, price is moving up, uh, and we've been in clear bullish patterns since last year, but now price is getting to levels where retail investors are starting to take note. Um, I always talk about like I'm a big I listen to sports radio usually. And when the guys on sports radio are talking about Bitcoin, that means that everybody's talking about Bitcoin. That means all these guys are getting into Bitcoin and it's a lot of retail, a lot of new capital in there. And that's when Bitcoin starts to really pump. And that's what we're starting to see. So just take a note of that, wanted to mention. Um, and then there are um, a few issues here. So first thing is um, the, the new ruling and the SEC's Coinbase uh, insider trading lawsuit. Now, this particular judge said this one token was a security, and that's the whole thing is that the SEC is just trying to sue their way into power. So they're just suing and making judges give them power. And of course, now we're getting senators, um, and primarily on the right, but some on the left, um, that are saying that um, the SEC is taking too much um, control of this, and also they are railing against the CBDC, which I rail against every week. Um, you could really tell if people really are freedom or not by a politician, by if they're for CBDCs or not, because a CBDC is the ultimate uh, central bank digital currency is the ultimate weapon or tool of a tyrant and, a, and tyranny, because it controls everything, and uh, we're seeing pushback about that. But I wanted to talk about, this is the article I want to talk about based on that. So the SEC is facing um, pressure from lawmakers, like we just talked about with that court ruling, like Gary Gensler and the Biden administration are just suing all of these companies uh, 
by um, and by having these judges uh, make these um, decisions by gaining power that way rather than how it's supposed to be done, how the system is designed by people creating laws. Now, the lawmakers are telling the SEC to back off crypto, which is great. I'm all for that. But the problem is, is that they're not doing their jobs. They need to pass laws. So that makes the SEC regulate crypto if they are the ones that can regulate it properly and without being the Wild West, because it's the Wild West on the regulatory side, for be sure, to have judges don't want to be in a position to legislate. And that's what they're being forced to do is the SEC sues like Coinbase. And the only laws that they're going by are laws from the 1930s, security laws. So it's absurd. So yeah, lawmakers are putting pressure on uh, the SEC to back off, but they need to do their job too and pass laws. Um, and then this was interesting, you know, this is more of the anti-crypto crowd in Congress. Um, they were, they gave an order to Bitcoin mining people to um, emergency order to show how much electric they're using. Um, and a judge ruled that, uh, put a halt to that. So we'll see what happens with that. Eventually they're going to win. But um, but again, it's it's just mounting pressure from anti-crypto people, which you, could, you can, um, in most cases, uh, the term anti-crypto means anti-freedom. So they will have any reason in the book to be anti-crypto. And the energy piece is something that they are um, keying in on. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, the U.S. government now owns $12 billion worth of crypto and rising now that Bitcoin, worth of Bitcoin, now that Bitcoin is rising. And that is from uh, seizures. So that's interesting. Uh, so they are heavily invested in Bitcoin. Uh, and then Chinese state media is reporting that uh, they are seeing a surge in trading, which is also a thing of note. And they're warning people they don't want their people investing in uh, Bitcoin because, of course, they are a uh, communist and a totalitarian society and they want to control uh, all the monetary policies, which is opposite of what's going on in El Salvador, where their Bitcoin holdings are up 40 percent in the El Salvador as a visionary president that um, changed their uh, made Bitcoin an official currency. And uh, I think that they are starting to reap the benefits of that. So uh, that is all the news I wanted to cover today. Uh, let's go over some Bitcoin price action. Uh, I previously posted about this. Uh, we had the third touch here and a reaction down. And then um, on the fourth touch, we get a break up. So this thing is breaking and it's coming right to here to this QM level. Um, I, I'm expecting a pullback here and then it start to go again up. Um, this next level is the strongest seller's entry we have in the market. Um, if we break up there, then we can see a crazy, crazy parabolic move. Um, I mean, if we project, it's, it's already gonna pass it, but if we project like from here to here, the one-to-one -one is going to be right here at that level, we broke it. So yeah, we should get up to this $80,000 level at the 1.68, pull back and then go up. And then the next psychological level is going to be $100,000. So Bitcoin uh, looks to be very parabolic right now. Um, we are getting strong volume in on the one hour um, as it moves up, which is very good news. Um, so that is what I have today. Uh, we have no questions that come through the chat. Nope. So, okay, great. So I just want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, say hello in the community and have a great day because you deserve it.